What in the fuck was that B-roll sequence? Honestly, actually, no. I know exactly what it was. You know me, you know CK, you know I like a cheeky little B-roll sequence. And I went out with Mike and Faye. We took some photos of this Alfa Romeo 8C and apparently there's only 10 of them in the world, which makes it a little bit more enticing to shoot and then, you know, put some time effort into creating some cool art because they're scarce. I took this photo at about 1 25th of a second and this is the vector art that we're working with. This is what we're gonna turn it into. First things first, I actually just wanna clean up the background. Second of all, if you've created an artwork like this, you wanna separate the background from the foreground from the subject so that we can then play around and get that movement. Let's just copy uh, the car and the foreground. What you then wanna do is go file, export, and save it in a place as a PNG. You can actually just save it medium. I just save it medium and click OK. So you wanna do the same with the foreground as well. So let's say you drag the asset into Adobe Photoshop like we have right here. Come over to filter, go blur, and then just go motion blur. You can play around with the settings, but I quite like this one. So you wanna export those two assets and you want to drag them into your artboard. If we send the sky to the back, now we've got the car on the front. We are now evoking a sense of movement, which I love. I love to do that in vector art. From here, I, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at that. Okay, sorry, I clicked on the wrong file. Uh, I made a new sticker for our Discord channel, uh, Creator Society. This got spammed all over there last night and it is going to stay as a permanent sticker. Good old Mikey G holding the sack of a bull. What did I call it? Slavic squat. I'll leave the link in the description. I've actually already outlined the Alfa Romeo logo. I found a nice one. It looks quite retro. I used the pen tool to just uh, get some of my curves, uh, a bit more accuracy with the pen tool. And I was also curving in some of my shapes like this. On top of that, I was using the pencil tool to also just get some more hand-drawn fluid type of movement too. So I'd spend some time doing this if you are going to get typography through that way, or you can always just open up a text box and have a look at some of the fonts. The Alpha Romeo type is going to come right in here. I'm going to send it to the back and I'm going to bring it forward on top of our sky layer. Now, the next thing, a part of this tutorial would be to get some color. So let's pick two colors. We'll pick maybe this one here, this one here. So square in the middle, we'll click our gradient, come over to the white and we'll make that yellow and we'll come over to the black keeping our eyedropper tool selected and come over to the darker shade. Now let's grab our typography and eyedrop tool onto the gradient we just made. If we click G, we can actually change the direction. I actually wanna play around with the new 3D materials tab. It's something that Illustrator has just recently integrated. And I think it's actually really cool because it's now starting to become 3D, like you would jump into Blender for 3D work. Uh, Illustrator has its own kind of variation, um, which is surprising because it is a vector software. Now, what I'm about to do is not vector, it is raster, but it still looks really good. And when you export it, it kind of creates a nice disparity between the really geometric flat color artwork and our typography. So clicking on this typography, let's click inflate. And as you can see, it makes it quite bubbly and rounded, which I think draws a nice parallel to the actual body of the Alfa Romeo 8C. Sound like a car fucking salesman right now. So let's play around with the depth a little bit and I might even play around with the lighting. I uh, like that in terms of height, maybe there. Softness can go up a little bit and the rotation can go there. Now intensity is a good one because as you can see, it plays around with the contrast of the shadows. I don't want it too contrasty because I don't want it to steal too much attention from the car itself. This is great. So let's just copy this and go back to when it was just a flat color. Now what we're gonna do is bring this flat color to the top and place the typography behind it. I wanna select my flat color type and just make it white because what we're gonna do is just give this a nice soft outline uh, on the exterior of the writing. Now let's bring the car in front. We'll lock the background from here we'll send the typeface behind because now as we have different assets, we can see that the typeface is going behind the sign. It's so, it's just so cool. It's like, it's just little bits and tricks like this that really tie your artwork together nicely. The next thing that we wanna do is actually come up to here and rasterize it. Now we can see it's much better quality guys and this is gonna look great when we export it. I actually wanna bring it into Adobe Photoshop Add a little bit of grain. So if we just go add noise, 
Let's go back and export it. Now you can see guys, we have a really cool looking integration of typography, vector art, 3D and 2D. It looks fantastic. Guys, I hope you found that easy to follow. If you didn't, you can always ask questions in the description below. I'm not too familiar with uh, typography myself. I mean, I love using it as a graphic designer, but I don't explore the realm of typography as much as I probably could, but I wanna look at doing it more. So if you do like to see typography videos, let me know, because I can definitely make some more to show you guys. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, also love some feedback on uh, <clears throat> how I can maybe do it better. If you want me to slow down, speed up. If you guys wanna come over and join our Discord over at Creator Society, then I'll leave that link in the description. Uh, we are going to be making it private for about a week or so due to some maintenance, and we're gonna be hosting some awesome tournaments throughout that period as well. So if you wanna get in before we do that, definitely come over, join the link. Uh, other than that, I mean, there's multiple ways to support me and the boys, and you can find those in the description too. That's about it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to hearing your feedback, and I also can't wait to show you some more.